The vast majority of the American people want a different choice than Biden or Trump. And they aren't that particular, as you heard. We heard it a lot out on the campaign trail, literally anybody else. And now, that is an option. Literally anybody else. We checked. That is his legal name. He's a high school teacher in Texas and trying to get on the ballot uh, in all 50 states. Uh, is it now Mr. Else? Is that how I should address you, sir? Uh, my legal name is literally anybody <laughs> else. Here all right, so a, you, you're, you're a teacher. A yeah, you're, you're, you're a teacher. Uh, are you trying to teach the, the students a, a little bit about the way America works these days? Uh, yes, not through this. I've kept that separate from uh, my work life. It's definitely, I had to come to an agreement with uh, the district that I work in, you know, because I don't want the sensationalism to get in the way of the education of the students. I mean, you know, that's first and foremost why we're there. All right, but, fair. But, you know, this to me, yeah, is a message that needed to be sent. Are you surprised? I mean, take us, take us all the way back to the beginning. You got to the courthouse, you said, I want to change my name to literally anybody else. Were they surprised? Uh, well, she was not amused. I mean, she was dealing with some very, very intense divorce cases. And when she saw me, you know, you get the kind of knee-jerk reaction you get from anything, where it's just, like, oh, like, for dealing with this, you know, is this serious? Like, do you want to be that guy? And, you know, I was like, somebody has to. I mean, we, we're dealing with this um, situation where we have the rematch of the two most disliked candidates in a very long time. And so, I mean, like you showed in the little preview, like, I'm not the only one. And the point of having this name, you know, and having this name running for president, it kind of gives voice, it gives a direction for anybody who resonates with that sentiment. And, you know, it's, for me, it was a difficult choice to open myself up to that kind of criticism, because you cannot run for president without opening yourself up to criticism. And being uh -huh. that vulnerable is very uncomfortable. Are you and so, I, I, uh, I ask this with, with an enormous amount of respect, but are you really running for president, or are you just trying to make a point? Uh, honestly, I'm trying to make a point. That's, that's the first and foremost oh. goal. But Is it working? You know, to make the point, you, you have to move forward, for sure. I mean, uh, ever since that first interview on Friday, you know, that was less than a week ago, you know, I've been getting hundreds and hundreds, and I'm, if I'm sure if I sat down and counted, probably over a thousand, uh, you know, these positive messages. I mean, I got uh, sent a Instagram post today that had over 10,000 views in a very short amount of time. And, you know, you know, that's nothing to, you know, a big news station like yourself, but to someone who was unknown seven days ago, you know, that, that growth, if that continues, you know, I feel like that should make a huge impact on uh, wow. at least how the parties move forward. All right. I, I, you, we got about 30 seconds left together. Is there any singular policy proposals that the American people need to know that you offer? Uh, I feel like policies should uh, be reflective of the people who are uh, being represented and not necessarily say, you know, my policies are X and Y. You decide if you fit in them or not. Because that's, I feel like, how we got here. You know, we have uh, Trump who has, you know, policy A, B, C, and we have Biden who has policy X, Y, Z. And it's up to us as voters mm. to decide, oh, hey, like, I may side with B and C, and I side with X, but, you know, All right. I don't like either one of them, but this is the lesser of two evils. And that's, well, you are, you are that's offering what I'm people fighting against. Well, you're, off you're offering the customers, the voters, something they say they want, which is... Uh, a choice. Mr. Else, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.